This is the Hoi An Historic District near Da Nang, Vietnam Travel Guide. The historic district of Old Town Hoi An is a World UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's known for its magical lanterns. In this video, we'll provide information on directions and tips and information from our own experience to Hoi An from Da Nang. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Da Nang Vietnam Travel Guide series. This episode is the Hoi An Historic District near Da Nang for visitors to Vietnam. The ancient town of Hoi An is located in the province of Quang Nam about 30 kilometers or 18 miles south from the city center of Da Nang, Vietnam, along the Tu Bun River. You can get here from Da Nang using a taxi. Just ask the taxi driver to use the meter. You can also use the rideshare app Grab using your smartphone. By taxi or Grab, depending on where you're coming from, in Da Nang, it will cost around 400,000 to 600,000 Vietnamese dong, or 18 to 25 US dollars. You can also take the Hoi An Express Shuttle from the airport, which is about 100,000 Vietnamese dong, or 5 US dollars one way per person. There are also several buses and minivans which leave from the main bus stations in Da Nang at Hai Chau and Centra districts. We took a grab in the late afternoon from Da Nang and it took us about 45 minutes to get to Hoi An in the evening before it got dark. For your information, there are plenty of places if you need to exchange currency. We saw lots of signs in English and Korean. As you can see, it was raining the day we came, but rain or shine, we were determined to visit this magical place. Our driver dropped us off at the corner of Ban Chu Trin and Win Hu. We walked down Win Hu towards the river. On the way, we passed lots of shops and the central market, which is worth visiting, especially if you want a quick bite. Try a banh mi sandwich, or khao lao noodles, or kham ga, chicken and rice. After a quick bite, we went around the small shops and bought some lanterns. You've got to buy a lantern when you're here, right? If you're looking for some souvenirs or food, the prices here are a bit better than the more touristy side of Hoi An. After dinner and shopping, we continue to walk down to the Bok Don, which is the promenade street along the Tuban River, which placed us in the center of Hoi An Riverside, the old town of Hoi An. This is where the magic starts, among the well-preserved historic trading port district full of buildings from the 15th to the 19th centuries. Everywhere you look, there are colorful lanterns, all lit up, welcoming visitors in. We walk past traditional buildings and shops, which have been untouched on the outside for 200 years, and it's a mix of Vietnamese, Chinese, and Japanese and colonial styles. All the while, we are entranced by the colorful handcrafted lanterns. When we finally reach the Bok Dong or the Promenade Street, there are lots of boats that you can hire for a ride in the river at the docks near the Hoi An Bridge. Along this uh, uh, street on both sides of the river are tons of shops, restaurants, and cafes all calling you in.
We continue to walk down the Bakdan, and as you walk along, you'll see several shops offering a money exchange. Most of the exchange rates were pretty much the same or very close. Um, but if you don't have Vietnamese dong, these are a good place and convenient to change money. We walk in the Bok Don to the Hoi An Bridge. From the Hoi An Bridge, you can see small boats drifting by, lit up with colorful lamps illuminating the dark night. You can also light lanterns and release them in the water. It's a strangely compelling and beautiful sight. We continue to the other side of the bridge, to the old quarter of Hoi An and to the Cho Dem Night Market. My favorite sights here are the lantern shops, all lit up, just so beautiful. In the night market, there are tons of places full of food and souvenirs, restaurants and bars. Please make sure to have some Vietnamese cash in small denominations to enjoy all the delicacies here. After enjoying the night market, we crossed the Hoi An uh, Bridge again to the other side and walked to the 400-year-old Japanese covered bridge. You can cross the bridge for free, but you can't cross through the bridge uh, where the temple is. There's a small fee for that of 120,000 Vietnamese dong or five US dollars for five tickets. After the Japanese bridge, we continue to roam the less crowded side streets of Hoi An and just try to soak up as much as we could while we were there. There were also, of course, plenty of foreign exchange or currency exchange places. Hoi An can take four or more hours or several days depending on your interest. You can also combine it with the mini beaches and other activities in Hoi An that are available. A visit to quaint Hoi An is highly recommended. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig travel channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.